welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this Valentine's Day inspired lookbook. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I will probably not be going anywhere for Valentine's Day. Yes, this is a shout out to my husband who will probably not plan anything. He doesn't want to put in any effort into our relationship. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. I feel like Valentine's Day for couples is either something that is really spectacular, but most of the time it's like just a reason to jab at your husband or significant other. <laughs> I don't know. Are you other ladies like that? I am very much like that. And <laughs> while it could be a day where you're like, I am so lucky to have my significant other because they are the love of my life. A lot of times, I think it's a day where you just compare what someone else is doing on their Valentine's Day because women are just never satisfied with anything we have. <laughs> this first dress is so sexy. I paired this lovely red dress with this leather jacket. This dress can be very short. <laughs> and scandalous and very sexy and I wanted to cover it up a little bit by wearing this leather black jacket. It's pleather, though I wouldn't mind if it was leather. Come at me, begins, I don't care. I'm also rocking it with these black pumps. I thought it would match the black leather jacket. I don't know, it's just very sexy and kind of like punker and kind of badass and I thought that would be a nice way to kick off this Valentine's outfit lookbook thing. I don't know. I don't even know what a lookbook is. Maybe I'm using the wrong word. And it looks like whoever is lucky enough for you to be wearing an outfit like this is probably gonna get lucky later that night. So good for him. My next outfit is a slip dress. I love this dress so much. I thought I go in the completely different direction and try to do something more romantic and a bit more wholesome and I'm pairing it with these nude pumps and this rich brown coat. I love this coat so much. I got it from H&M uh, a few seasons ago. I love buying things that just look classic and will last me a long time. So I bought this years ago and I still rock it. I've worn it to like plays and fancy date night restaurants and you don't see it on me really is like, I'm like wearing it like off the shoulder or on just the shoulders. <laughs> I think that's just a rich way to wear it. Anyone could pull that off and look very sophisticated and cool and like, just like sheep, I guess. I got this dress thrifted um, for like five bucks. It was ridiculous. And it's just so, something about silk is so flattering and so easy, but it makes you look so put together, so wealthy, so chic. I just love this dress and this outfit. I think I'm going for a prettier look, not as sexy, more like pretty. I, I was thinking pretty when I made this outfit. I am wearing this cute cream set. It is so sweet, it's like this, asymmetrical crop top with this beautiful long skirt. And I'm just opposing it with this jean jacket and these white sneakers. I think the set can be very powerful. <laughs> I think it's a very beautiful set that can either be a statement or you could wear it down by wearing something more casual on top of it and decide to wear this crop top because it kind of cuts at the same length as the cropped top set. I think I would wear this outfit, I guess if I was going to like a party date kind of thing or if I'm looking for a man. Sometimes you're single and you're just looking for a man. And this outfit screams, I am ready to talk to somebody. <laughs> Next one is like kind of like a picnic look. I love this dress. I've worn it several times. I will ride and die with this dress. It's like the sweetest little mini summer spring dress that I have. Very cute colors. I feel like the colors really work for my skin tone. I don't know why something about like this pastel -y kind of color range is just really pretty and gorgeous and like the way it hugs me it's one of those like dresses that are flattering even when you're bloated and I'm wearing it with these chunky white sneakers and this really cute knitted cardigan and I think because the cardigan cuts off around the same length as the dress I think it's just really beautiful very casual very cute very like I'm not trying too hard to be cute but I just am kind of <laughs> and I think it would be nice if you were going to like have have a picnic date or or like like even if you're going to get burritos or something like more casual or just going to get beer at a brewery this would be a very cute thing to wear for those kind of events I used to be very obsessed with love. I think I was Kelly from The Office obsessed with love. But you know what's nice about having a kid is that your man will never leave you. You know why? Because if he ever did I would hunt him down, make him pay alimony, make him pay child support and he'll never have a life again anyways. So literally he is 
chained to me. <laughs> and while, yes, I've given up lots of my life, and, and yes, I might not have date night anymore, and yes, every time I think of Valentine's Day, I'm sad instead of excited, and yes, we don't have sex or have a real adult conversation anymore. At least I know that my man is trapped. <laughs> and there is something secure in that knowledge. So, that's comforting. Okay, this is like my last look. <gasps> it's so pretty, I love this. So. This navy blue and like, I think it's cream pattern. It's like this geometric pattern on this jumpsuit. And something about jumpsuits just scream, I'm powerful and chic and it's so easy to put together. It's literally one outfit and you don't have to think about it. And I'm pairing it with this this cream coat and my beige pumps. It's just so chic. Like I would wear this to the perch. If you guys know in LA, there's this beautiful rooftop bar that I used to go to all the time. I miss it. It's just like, Makes you feel like you're on top of the world and if you wore this I feel like you fit in with the the atmosphere at the perch but it would be great at maybe like a nice steakhouse or like another rooftop bar I'm just missing the days when I had lots of fun <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it inspires you guys for your Valentine's Day so that you can enjoy your child free life with your fancy cocktails on a rooftop bar because one day you'll get knocked up like the rest of us and never have sex again um and never have Valentine's Day again. <laughs> but until that day, I hope you live it up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.